And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. The government all those aspects of making the various victims of our people. This was the Ijeo country of the Niger Delta of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He went to several schools. His major academic genesis was at the government it, college, yeah, Ujeli. Go, uh, go, gather, um, destroy their food. Yeah, later, we take the camp. And, uh, and uh, that other camp, some more camp. You know, come say, everybody. We say, we In a key generation sometimes. Today, our focus will be in the style of J.P. Clark, a poet and writer. And we shall also be very interested in this point at more dancer. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Lives that are meaningful with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Now, after some of these heavenly adventures and more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening. You're welcome to the program Green Planet. Limbe, once a town of sprawling ghettos, a town where the architectural design was based on sprawling touch houses, mud houses, and wooden houses. And now Limbe has witnessed a transformation and the beginning of high-rise buildings and all the modern infrastructural designs. All this could not have happened without the contributions of certain people. In today's people, places and events, we shall be talking to one such contributor in the design of the town. He may not be known, but he is definitely important to this design. Thank you very much for talking to people, places and events and to the African Center for Community and Development. What is your name, sir? My name is uh, Ojong Peter Abu. And what do you do in life? I'm a civil architecture technician. This means you've been doing a lot of designing. For how long have you been this kind of person? I've been for 25 years. And your work has taken you to designing houses and offices and so on. Can you list some of the houses you have designed? Yes, there have been many, but I can only name few. Like in Limbe, <coughs> Mines and Power uh, Structure, Cité Nanga and Cité Sonara, and some of the individual projects which I've done in town, to name a few. Now, you are into architecturing and um, civil engineering. Let me ask you something in terms of uh, the transition that we are facing in Limbe as to the designing of houses. There seems to be a lot of houses that are high-rise buildings. Is it because the economy in Limbe is blooming or is it just because people have learned about story buildings from neighboring countries like Nigeria and so on? What do you think? Yeah, more like other countries too, people have learned a lot. And in Limbe, yes, since it is, it is a developing town, and always it will have to imitate the good things and others. They must not remain only by one distinct. Like Limbe is where standard place, and then visitors visit, so people like to live of a very high standard, and that's why they converted themselves into bringing up nice structures nowadays compared to the past. Now, what are the problems you face in your uh, in your field? Well, the problems here in the field is that. The technicians who really, if an architect design a project and then a problem on site, some of them don't execute the project as the architect's concept. They change it on site and order to sue them because it may be they do not understand the plan how it should be executed at site. Uh, what are some of the places you have worked with? Um, can you tell me some? Let's go back to history. Can you tell me how? Um, a holding like Tamunjong Dumu, what impression it it had on the society in his days? Well, Tamunjong Dumu was a civil, I mean, he was a, an, a, <coughs> a structural engineer by profession, and then he had most of the things. But since I did not really work on that, but I, I knew that at least during that time, he had a lot of problems. He, as far as the discussions of projects are concerned, because people did not really understand 
at that particular time. But in terms of what he was doing, what do you, what can you tell me? Do you think he was doing a good job? Or? He was doing excellent job, roads and uh, building construction, everything. At that time, he was the most pronounced uh, uh, civil uh, engineer, and even he worked with the government. He was the only the director of uh, all the Industries, of the West Cameroon government, of the Public Works Department. Yes, yes. Now let's move to other architects of the time. You've been into the field for 25 years and you interacted with these people. Um, Mr. Manga and um, Namatai Wanga, they were also very important in the design of um, the city Nanga. Um, do you think their work is really um, wonderful as to what you are seeing um, today? or? What can you tell me about them? Yes, those two architects were the most pronounced architects here in the then West Cameroon, and they have been government architects in those before, converted themselves to run as individual architects. And executions like the Sonara, in, uh, <coughs> uh, the Sonara project in those days, the housing estate and others, which is the Sonara, I mean, City Nanga and City Sonara, they executed the project, the designs concept, and then the, the drawing concept, everything. And then finally, they brought everything to the face of every person, and every person appreciates their good job. Do you think their work is still relevant today? Excellent. Wow. Most of the architects are really copying, I mean, copying what they've done. What about um, uh, Nanga? Nanga was, uh, he, he was a, a building contractor. He was not an architect by profession. But his discussion at that time was, too, was nice as a contractor. Now, I realize that a lot of people are moving from uh, the building of um, wooden houses to um, the building of um, block houses. Is it um, an economic issue or people no longer have confidence um, in wooden houses or are wooden houses for house. poor people? Yes, the wooden house is, is not really economical because the, our people don't know the importance of wood and they don't treat wood. If they, it would have been treated like over say and other places before it is being built then the wooden houses is sometimes more prefer <coughs> preferable to the block houses and others. But because of the fact that the wood is not treated before it is built. So the wood gets bad before its time. And then that's why people prefer that at least the block houses be preferred because they last for long and they can only do some renovations and other after about two twenty or 20 years or more than that. But do you think poor people can afford block houses now? Um, averagely, and it's too rare. Yes. Because of course of material, poor man cannot afford a block house nowadays in Cameroon. Yeah. Now, can you tell the world the things you can do so that people can hire you to use your services, your expertise after 25 years? Can you talk to the world the kind of things you can do if people want to build what they should um, contact you for? Yeah, in a toilet, we have designed a toilet, depending upon what surface area it is, the placement of the, 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 the element that, like the, the WC, the washing and basin and the shower should be evenly placed. And because this, there should be an even circulation inside there. And stripping too is it protects uh, in some other area the erosions and all and it defines to the beauty of the, 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 the land too when you're approaching. Uh, like a building or like a house too. Two hundred. Abo manu. Number is that people abo manu number is that so. A two music music architecture only. A a key calendar. A key in preparation. A a a a key mangi me nyake nyake me kasi nyiri nana. And I hope through the venue of this program, your voice shall reach out to millions in the world wide web that are going to be watching you. Thank you very much. That other captain, some other captain. You know, we said everybody. We said we. Sometimes today our focus will be in the style of J.P. Clark, a poet and writer, and we shall also be very interested in this point at more dancer. Some lives are meaningful. Some are meaningful. Lives that are meaningful with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Long after some of these earthly adventures and more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.